Welcome everyone, it is John, and I'm back with another one tank trip, and I am in Taswell, Tennessee. Now this is a cool little town named for Henry Taswell, who was a politician back in the 1700s, and has a cool, few cool little unique nuggets around town that I want to show you guys, and a really cool place to eat. Um, but without further ado, guys, we're going to explore this town that was incorporated in 1801, known as Taswell. Follow me. I'm standing on the corner here at Main Street. And this is the original main drag of Taswell. Now, it was cursed, if you see over there at that traffic light, by what some of us call a bypass route to bypass the main downtown. So, for a long time, it struggled. A lot of these buildings were vacant. But of late, it is starting to have a resurgence of its main downtown. You see it's bustling, a lot more people coming in and out, and not to mention a really cool barber shop right here. Let's look at the old school front here. I wish this was one of them old school working ones. I love those. But if you look, it's got a nice, unique charm to it. A cool old school downtown. I like the design of that building right there. So yeah, we'll check this out a little bit. But some really cool stuff around here I want to show you guys. So let's get to it. Back in the day, Taswell's economy was based off livestock and tobacco. Now, this is a livestock auction barn that's been repurposed as a flea market, an indoor flea market. It's a pretty cool place to come visit. And then here is the old tobacco warehouse. I'm not sure what it's being used for. I'm, I'm assuming storage to some nature, but this is where they would hang up all the tobacco that was harvested to get it ready to go to like RJ Reynolds and all that. It was a huge part of the economy around here for a long time. This town was founded in 1801. And soon after, a little crime wave hit and they had to build the Claiborne County Jail in 1804. Now this is the original jail. Look at the old doors up there, the old window shutters. Now it's, as you see here, the historic Society is trying to restore this old school jail. And here's a, a marker here. Okay. It was erected in 1819. The original structure was 1804, but still, 200 years old. This 200 years this has been standing. We'll walk around, see if we can get a peek inside somewhere. Oh, yeah. Look at these old bars. You can see an old desk in there. The wooden staircase going up. The old brick flooring. Oh. Hang on, guys. I'm trying to focus it. There we go. Check it out. And then we'll go down here and see what else we can see. There's an old bunk right here. Really cool old school jail. Here's a look from the opposite side where it's just at. You can see that bunk over there. Look right here is a bunk. A chair and a little desk. Look, there's even a spittoon so they could spit their chew tobacco in. All right, on the other end of Main Street lies my favorite feature of Taswell, and as this restored 1930s gas station. It's even got the old visible pumps. I mean, it's got everything, guys. We're going to check this thing out for sure. I just freaking love this old golf station. Has a lot of old school artifacts. Now, this really was a fueling station. As you were leaving town heading north, this would have been the last station you would have seen leaving Tazel. Look at the old tire changing machine here. Then you got these restored visible pumps. And if you don't know, visible pumps were created because there was a lot of controversy with bad gas. So gas stations started putting these out so people could see 
their fuel before it went into their tank. It would fill up this with how much fuel they wanted, then it would drain off into their tanks. Look at these old school oil cans. Contains lead back in the old days. See this person wanted five gallons. You can see it recreates kind of, and then here's the innards. Here's the handle that you would pull, pump the gas. Definitely, definitely some cool stuff here. And look at that old sign there. Look at that. Advertising Gulf Motor Oil. And we've got all kinds of, we got kerosene over here. We got a motor oil pump. Look at the old battery display stand. And that's how they would check the voltage on the battery. They'd do a cell test. Look at the old school tire. I'm not sure what this is, but it is pretty amazing. You now what I really love is all these vintage signs hanging up here. And then look at this old thermometer. This is awesome. It says it's open. Oh wow. They allow you to come in and check it out here. January 1935. Little pot belly stove used the heat during the cold months. There's a jacket. There's a board about Ross. War bonds. Look at the old cigarette packs. Prince Albert, different tobaccos. They would sell matches. For the old typewriter. Check out this old cash register here, guys. I don't want to touch anything. I do not want to break it. Oh, and even the old school phone. A lot of cool stuff in here. sodas, toys, different maintenance things. And look here, the old Coca-Cola, two cents. Oh, look. And we got some vintage Coca-Cola bottles in here. That's amazing. Come in and get you a pop. Oh yeah, there's even a moonshine still. How awesome is that? Here's some old pictures when it was in, there's when it was kind of abandoned for a while. It had fallen into some disrepair. There it is it operating like in the old days in another shot there. It's absolutely incredible. The old soda crates the vendors would bring in. I just love this place. Oh, look at the old Hershey bars, Horehound candy, Tootsie Rolls, some headache powders, aspirin. Oh, look at the old school sugar daddies. That's awesome. They even got the old neon sign and the old sign there and a welcome to Taswell. Look at the craftsmanship on the architecture here. I freaking love it. All right, that is the old 30s gas station, the Gulf fueling station. Someone with a loud, loud exhaust. But we're gonna carry on. We got a few more cool little things to check out here. The American Legion, the veterans of foreign wars, and the disabled American veterans, all from Tazewell erected this memorial to fallen soldiers from World War One, Iraq, World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. It's a pretty awesome 
memorial here. So you see you got the wall here, all branches of military. You got the flags of all the military branches right there. Something I really love is this, this statue here. This famous statue of the boots, gun and helmet of a fallen soldier. Let's take a moment to look around here and pay our respects. Also here at this Memorial Park is this awesome clock. As you can see it is 12.21 right now on a beautiful day here in Tazewell. And we have an army tank. It is just awesome. It does not have its gun on it. Maybe it's used for a different purpose, I'm not sure. But it is a tank, nevertheless. U.S. Army. I always wanted to ride in a tank. I think it'd be so cool. It has a big door on the back. Something else I'm learning about Tazewell. People like loud exhausts. I guess it's a complex. I don't know. Check that out, guys. Really cool. Old school tank. And a little moment to pay respects to our fallen soldiers. And current veterans as well. Thank you for your service. Really unique landmark here in Tazewell is the Methodist Church. Now, back in the 1800s, they built a lot of structures out of limestone like this. And this is one of them. You can see the bell tower up there. And then, as you look over here, check out those stained glass windows. They are amazing. This is a beautiful building. Just one of the unique buildings here. And you can see the house next to it is also made of limestone. There's a lot of buildings here that were made that way. The Graham Cavett House built around 1810. It's called Greystone. It was home of William Graham and then eventually Dr. James Fulkerson. James P. Kivett, an attorney. Now, this is the home here. They have recently started renovations of this home it did set in disrepair and kind of overgrown for a long time they've removed the front porch in the back section it is kind of dangerous to go inside so they have put keep out signs they got surveillance around but this is a house built around 1810 it is over 200 years old and it's another built out of limestone like i was talking about earlier but i want to walk around this and show you this is an amazing home they're in the process of renovating it and getting it back to its former glory. But it is just incredible. Now back here would have been the chimney for the detached kitchen. Now, and over here's the remains of a dugout cellar. And it's really amazing to look at. And of course they got no trespassing on the building itself. Hopefully I'm allowed to be here on the property itself. But if you look right here, oh, I think this might be a cistern. Yeah, that's pretty deep too. Oh, that's pretty incredible. And then you can see underneath the house here to the old basement. It's hard to see anything under there, but yeah, check out. This is where the water would collect. I don't know how much deeper it goes by that, but it's kind of a well of sorts. And we'll walk around here. Take a look around this house. And they got it boarded up there where you spill go into the basement. Three stories plus a basement. It's incredible. And this is where the front porch was. You can see underneath here. Oh, you can see the old staircase. Yeah, so it's, it's how you would have got to the basement. Amazing. It's been added, central heat never been added at some point. 
Yes, that is a large steel cut out of Bigfoot. Something Tazzle has a large supply of is vintage antique stores and thrift stores, and even a few boutiques. So if you're a picker like a me and you like to go to old antique stores, thrift stores, hunt for nice treasures, there's several of these around town, more than normal. I mean, it's like, you, you wanna go to these places, but a lot of times they're in big cities, parking's hard. This is, Tazzle's a good place to go if you're a picker and you, want, you like antiquing, you like thrifting. It's a very good place to go. Now, if you're gonna dine in Tazewell, this is a must, the Frosty Freeze. It's been here forever, and they have really good food. Now, I am, I am kind of on a nutrition challenge right now. Put on a few more pounds, so I'm gonna try to avoid eating here, but they have great hamburgers, hot dogs, and this is my recommendation. If you're ever in town, definitely eat at the Frosty Freeze. It is amazing, and they have great milkshakes and ice cream here, too. And look at the sun. The sun is awesome. As storm clouds appear to be moving in, we're at our final destination, and that is the Big Springs Primitive Baptist Church. Now, this is the oldest church in the state of Tennessee. It was built the same year our state was founded, in 1796. And it is still active. Church services are still held in here. And I think there's church buildings that are older, but this is the oldest active church in Tennessee. I'm gonna walk around this, give y'all. I even got a revival coming soon. But it is the original building, original structure, still used. Has an old cemetery here. Back when they used to use rocks. This is a really cool building. It's had electricity added. And they've kept it up very well. You see you got some sarcophaguses here. Let's see what the dates on some of these headstones are, if we can even read them. Eighteen forty one. You can see the marker here for this grave plot. Got some rain coming, guys. I might have to cut this short. It's hard to tell. It's just really beautiful here. Here comes the storm. You can even see where the bell used to be. All right, as the rain starts to pour down, the wind is blowing. I, forgive me for the wind, but guys. I appreciate you watching this one tank trip of Taswell. A lot of really cool stuff here, guys. I'm glad I got this filmed before the rain set in. But uh, I really appreciate you guys watching this. If you like these videos, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And make sure you leave a comment. That really helps this channel out when you comment on the videos, guys. But uh, if you want to help support this channel even further, I have a Patreon. The link is down below. I also sell t-shirts with the link in the description down below, guys. But I thank you for watching this installment of One Tank Trips. I gotta get out of here before it gets too bad. Love you guys.